Thanks for joining us today as we examine the vast differences of the domestic housewife and the feral housewife. Here we find our domestic housewife. Good morning, Mrs. Huskins. Up bright and early again, I see. She doesn't need much coffee. She is filled by a song in her heart and sunshine on her face. It's going to be a great day. Here we find Amber, the feral housewife. She aggressively snarls at anyone who dare encroach her. This is indeed the most dangerous time of day to be around the feral housewife. For our own safety, we are going to take a step back and observe from a distance. Mrs. Huskins is such a great hostess. Look at that perfect posture. She makes polite conversation as she gracefully sips her tea. Pinky's out. Well done, Mrs. Huskins. Here we see Amber. She boisterously cackles like an obnoxious hyena with mad cow disease. How utterly shameful. Domestic housewives dine with great poise and sophistication, like a graceful ballerina. Her children are always clean and tidy, dressed in their Sunday best for dinner. Here we find the feral housewife. She eats like a blind, brainless monkey with no thumbs. Ugh. Look at her children, disgracefully unkempt. How disgusting. Here we find the domestic housewife meticulously folding her family's laundry. Great job, Mrs. Heskins. Now, let's go see if we can find a feral housewife. Oh, here we are. Look closely as she camouflages into her dirty laundry, eating her favorite snack while hiding because she does not like to share. What do we have here, Amber? Oh, just as I should have guessed, double stuffed. This is indeed a bright treat for the feral housewife. Observe how she shamelessly kicks her laundry into a bigger pile, like Sasquatch scraping the dirt to cover the smell of his own feces. Mrs. Huskins enjoys the beautiful weather outside with her children. Great throw, Mrs. Huskins. Touchdown!
after a productive day, Mrs. Huskins carefully turns down the bed and places a cup of cold water on her husband's bedside so he will have everything he needs for a good night's sleep. She eases into bed as not to disturb her husband. She carefully rests her head on her pillow, like a butterfly peacefully sleeping on a flower. Get some rest, Mrs. Huskins. You've earned it after a job well done. I must caution our more sensitive viewers. The feral housewife sleeping is truly a grotesque sight. She collapses like a dying wildebeest. Notice how she growls at her young, even in her sleep. Ah, stop picking your brother's nose. She drools and slobbers like if she were a Saint Bernard after a hefty drink of water in the summertime. Her mouth stays gaped open like a pungent dumpster collecting raccoons and flies. Ugh, utterly disgusting. In attempts to protect his face and eyebrows, her poor maid lies vulnerable facing his back to her. Unfortunately, her potent breath has singed off most of his hair off his poor, helpless head. Truly terrifying. Be careful out there. Join us next time for toddlers. Are they giant wobbly babies or tiny unstable terrorists? No potatoes. No, you don't have to eat it. You just look well pleased. Mrs. Huskins is such a great, great hostess. No, it won't work because I made a mistake. Look at that perfect posture. She makes polite conversation as he gent gracefully. <laughs> gent grace. <laughs> I like gently sips her tea, but now it's gracefully. Ah, come on, Adrian. Unfortunately, her potent breath has sighed. <laughs> Goodness. Singed. 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 That's all for tonight, folks. <laughs> folks. <laughs> he turned into like... An Arkansan, folks. <laughs> folks. He thinks that was too much. <laughs>